Greetings and welcome to week six. Now this week I'd like to give you the chance to get to know me a little bit better. So here we are on my front porch and uh, just outside the front door. I'd like to actually show you what I can see. And it's a beautiful September day. So um, here is the front porch. And I'd like to also show you what we can see out our front door. And here's our very serene pond along with an island in the middle of the pond. My wife and I actually got engaged on this island. And then we've even built a bridge to make your way out to the island. So just showing you this so you can relax with me today as we study, begin our study of Islam. So as we study Islam, we need to of course focus on the famous prophet Muhammad, who was born and raised in the city of Mecca in the seventh century. And it's said that uh, Muhammad witnessed people from all over the region coming to sacrifice to their gods. Actually 360 different tribes would come and sacrifice, each having their own god and sacrifice on the Kaaba stone, this famous black meteorite there in Mecca, uh, this huge stone, and, uh, and each would come, but each, each of these tribes was very feudalistic and immoral. And Muhammad eventually uh, developed this hatred for the polytheism of the region. And as Allah began to speak to him, he uh, didn't himself write down the Quran, but his he was illiterate, but his cousins wrote down the words spoken to him from Allah through the archangel Gabriel, which now is revealed to us in the Quran, according to Islam. Now, Islam actually means submission. Submission to the one true God. And us, uh, a Muslim is, uh, in Arabic, the one who submits to Allah. Now, Muhammad was then able to isolate the five foundational principles of Islam in what's called the five pillars. The first of these is called the Shahada, the creed. And if one truly, sincerely says this creed, then it's considered they, they have become a, a Muslim. And the creed is that there is one God, Allah, and Muhammad is his prophet. The second pillar is called the Salat, ritual prayer. And Muslims, of course, uh, pray five times a day in the direction of the Kaaba stone. Third, is, third pillar is the Zakat, ritual fasting, essentially in the annual month of Ram Ramadan. Fourth, you have the Psalm, which is the uh, instructs them how to pay the tax, uh, the annual tax. And finally, you have the pillar called the Hajj, which is that each, uh, each adult, if they are able, are to make their pilgrimage to Mecca at least once in their lifetime. So, now Muhammad came along not actually to create a new religion, but in his mind he was restoring the original monotheistic faith of Abraham, Moses, Jesus, and the other prophets, which in his mind was distorted by the Jews and the Christians in their Old and New Testament. So Muhammad came along to correct and restore the original monotheistic faith. Well, that's a quick overview of Islam. If you have any questions this week about Islam, feel free to email me. But have a great week studying Islam.